Day three. Francis Kendrick also retires. Legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freiburg. Uh oh, there might be a lot of crimes related to celebrities. Construction of cinema museum postponed again. Hmm. Well, it's a pretty average day considering. Ah, oh, we have a lot to think about though. Oh, asking for a day off. When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask for a day off. Sometimes officers will request days even when they're at full strength. Some of the reasons you'll hear are far-fetched, while some are very serious. Don't overindulge your subordinates, but don't antagonize them either. Remember that everybody's got secrets and that you've got to make sure these guys have your back. Okay, Samadhi. Average? Below average? I was up all night reading an exciting detective story called The Last Temptation of Neptune, but I didn't have time to get to the ending. I'm almost certain the killer was the general, the house cat, you know. I simply cannot rest until I read for sure. Can I go home and finish reading the book? <sighs> okay, well I asked Purdy to come in, so oh my god, this is such a stupid reason though. Would you really tell your boss this? I'll give you a first time pass. Yes, but come tomorrow. In addition to their performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank and can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of any employee. If you think that nobody is worthy of the honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Sounds good. This one, right? That little thing here. Badge. Oh! Okay, he got one already? Employees of rank not only increase in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get rank, they start thinking more seriously about their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. <laughs> well, we're not promoting- <laughs> We're not promoting price anytime soon, okay? Or this lady here. <laughs> um, hang on. So I can't do anything here. Oh. oh, I can give it out like that. But, well, I haven't seen anyone's work performance yet, so I don't know. Where's, uh, where's, where's Purdy? Music turntable. Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time. Just like in real life. Well, the life of your grandfather. <laughs> uh, not too sure about this, cause copyright. I'll give one a go, and if it sounds copyrighty, or if I run into any problems with it, then no more music ever. Ah, what is this? Sweet ginger green. Pierce Pickering, ragtime fed. Okay, sure. Yeah, I have no idea if any of these are real or not. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, Nocturne in B major. Okay, these must be real then. Chopin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that might not be a good decision then. Okay, I'll hold off on the music. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> you can put on your own music. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops. Affairs? Police station? Labor market? Hey, where's Purdy, by the way? She didn't come in! You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Okay. Hmm. I'm not paying for this, right? So I should be okay. Uh, shift A? Sure, I'll hire Joshua Smith for shift A, aka today. Is that okay? Can you come in today? Want to free up a slot, time to fire somebody. Oh, wow! If I fire somebody though, would they like... I don't know, that f makes me kind of feel bad firing the old lady. We can't move them to shift B. 
Okay, you know what? I'm firing the old lady. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but your your work performance level is just too low. I can't keep you here. I'm Oh, I'm feeling bad already even though I'm doing nothing wrong just cuz there's a picture of an old lady. Jesus. If you have legal grounds for the termination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legality be damned. But that could land you in additional proceedings. And your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about actually doing their jobs. Another way to free up a slot is to have a police officer killed, but that's not really a valid option, right? Um. Um. Oh, we can fire them illegally or legally. Didn't come to work. Came to work drunk. Too old. Too old. Yeah, you- how about you retire? Oh god, I feel bad. I feel so bad. <gasps> oh man. Alright then. Alright, are we good? Oh, but she's still working today. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay. Vandalism! We received a frightened call from the local cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered that somebody entered the old cemetery during the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with a satanic symbol, and some have been broken into pieces. It seems that there are some marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. Rosebud? Rosebud? Yes? No? Vandalism? I think we're okay. We can just send some... some people. <laughs> Robins and oh my god, Birch looks so sad. Hmm. Well, is there a point in sending Roy? Cause she's gonna be fired anyway. <laughs> okay, sure, we can do this. Sure. Can I see everybody? Yeah, Aaron Stovall. Okay, we don't know anything about him yet. Nor this guy. Yeah, we don't know anything about anybody. All right. Atticus Tower. Vandalism. Businessman Harley Jones, looking out his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Three? Oh, that's kind of... Hmm, I really don't have competent people here. I'll have to go with Grant and... Mm, three, though. Three, though. That, that's kind of worrying. Okay, I'll, I'll take Stovall, Grant, and Birch Jr. I know that's a little bit overkill and I only have one guy left, but I feel like... Uh, we gotta deal with things, okay? We just gotta do it. <laughs> hmm, quiet day today. We have 20... No, $2,000 in the retirement fund. Great. Great. So, when are those jobs gonna be coming in? Hang on. <sighs> Fender's escaped. You guys are just not... <sighs> you guys aren't doing anything. <sighs> okay. Suspicious individual, a waitress named Mila, reports that she just served a chicken eddy and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on television just this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window eating a burger. That sounds kind of sketchy. Can I wait for Stovall to come back? That would be amazing. Got it? Fender caught. Alright, nice job, guys. Nice job, everybody. Okay, Stovall, I'm so sorry, but... Oh my god. Stovall, are you ready to come back? Yep. I think he'll make it. I gotta wait until his thing is done, right? Hurry up, hurry up! Oh! Okay, you know what? Uh... Uh... No, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, what's that? What was the other thing? Oh my god, okay. I'll take... Uh, I might want to save Stovall for the other thing. I don't know what it is, though. Oh my god, there's just so much management here. I'll take... Robbins... and Grant to this one. Okay. What's this? Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again, and now he can't get off the can. Meantime, the line outside the club is stretching around the block. We need someone outside who can tell the cool guys from the punks. Ah, that's a... Uh... Hey, hang on! 
Birch and Birch Jr.? Is that his son? Well, we can send one guy over. I'll send the younger guy, maybe. I'm not gonna send my star officer to be a bouncer, okay? <laughs> Should have sent Stolvold to be at the other place, goddammit. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Mm, we haven't used detectives yet. I don't know if we need to hire them. Detectives are for murders, maybe? Because that hasn't happened yet. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's chill out. Quiet day today. Never mind. Ooh, Christopher G. Sand. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. Crack? Uh... Are the other guys done? Yeah, I think so. I see the report here. I'll send Stovall and Birch. Suspicious individual. False alarm! The waitress had mistaken retired officer Frank Nero for fugitive in question. Okay, well... Glad to see you're all safe. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Suicide threat. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire. Unless his favorite chewing gum becomes popular again. I only have Roy with me. Oh my god, I don't wanna... Oh my god. Five seconds. Oh, I gotta send somebody! I gotta... No one's ready, I gotta send Roy! I gotta just send Roy! Oh my god. Hey, I know I fired you, but I don't want you to die, so... Please, try your best, but... Oh my god, oh my god. What? What? Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. Mr. Sorkin said he wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. What? Are you kidding me? Well, if you found your calling, fine, we don't need you, we're fine. Screw off. Oh, but we got some money. Ooh, retirement fund money. Okay. Sure. Hey, we probably want to hire... Oh, are we done? What? Whoa. As police arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for the kids. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. Cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be an illicit customer. Isn't that entrapment? <laughs> Take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Carefully watch, carefully watch. Fender caught! Yeah, we're doing good! Stovall! Giving that star to Stovall for sure. Birch got some confidence from that too, so that's good. Uh, I need to hire somebody, please. Oh my god, I'm scared to look at this. Wait. Suicide threat. Offender escaped? <laughs> Does that mean he's okay or not? I can't tell. Well, that seems to be it. Oh, Roy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, we're one officer short now. When the next day comes around, we'll have to hire somebody. Okay, we are pretty low. Can I ask some of you guys from... Yeah, why didn't you come in, Purdy? I thought I was telling you to come in. Why didn't you come in? God damn. Okay, shift B is looking fine. Shift A is looking a little bit small, though, so that's not cool. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you don't have to come in. You're fine. All right. Good lord. Robespierre to reveal his identity when the time is right. Enemies using feminists to destroy free work. Feminist organization denied official registration. Uh, okay. Not much happening today. Whenever I'm alone at home, and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> to get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop. 
jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either. But according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. Huh. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. With all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Sounds like a pretty tough time to be retiring. Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. <laughs> at my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's Excuse not me. go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Uh, I feel like the voice acting is a little... <laughs> Jack's voice acting is a little bit monotone. Okay. Kochi. Kochi deserves the badge, right? Oh, we also have Yancey here, who's catching up. Hmm. I'll observe everybody first, okay? I'll observe. Hmm. Mm. We can't check their stats here. Hmm. No, you know what? I'll just give it to Kochi. She worked hard last time. I can give one more. I can give it to Yancey. Ah, oh, that increases their... Their thing. That's good. A. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to come in yesterday. Okay. Any changes here? Actually, Kochi only finished one assignment. Maybe I shouldn't have given her that star. Destruction of property. Oh. There's a weapon here. Maybe that's not a good idea. Hey, if we're not gonna fire Price, can we give her a confidence raise? Let's send out Yancey with Price. How about that? If someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to your detectives. 
Like this one, homicide. They investigate the crime scene, interview witnesses, and gather whatever information seems pertinent. One of your detectives will be lead investigator on the case. You can assign additional detectives to lead to any case who will work under the lead investigator as subordinates. The more professional the lead investigator, the more effective the team. Okay, so mole. Mole then. Is it okay to have everyone on the same case or... Nah, I'll just... Mole and Armstrong, how about that? We'll be fine. Hopefully, Yancey comes back with good news with Price. Okay, so we have 180 days at this rate. I feel like I'm gonna have to speed up a little bit because I'm reading everything right now. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We have to hire somebody. For shift A. Right. Okay, well... Oh my god. We don't really have enough... Good people. They're just like average people. Hmm. Well, we still need somebody, so let's hire Asmin here. Shift A, and I think that's okay for now. Yeah, we'll be okay for now. What's this? Carjacking. A car is on the stolen vehicles list. Purdy? Purdy? Whoa, four officers? That's nuts. I'll give you three. Purdy? Tsubaki? Austin. Okay? Don't let me down. Oh! Fire all black cops from City Hall. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to kill all the black doctors, firemen, and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers, and even some of our citizens support them. You'll have to fire all your black employees over the next two days due to mounting racial tensions. What the hell? We're not doing that. We have Austin here. Well, I'm not gonna fire her over... That's illegal. That's actually illegal. Okay, homicide investigation started. Okay, cool. Nice job. Oh, we can see the... Ah, we have some here, but I don't think we need to look too deeply into it, right? Especially because we don't have time. I'll leave it to my investigators. Destruction of property? Yes! Nice work! Nice work, Yancey. Maybe if we raise, um, raise Price's confidence, then she'll do better later on. Although I'm not sure about her alcohol problems. We seem to be doing okay today. Chill out a little bit. Samadhi. Yeah, I'm not firing Austin, okay? Because that's... That's messed up! What kind of a government? What kind of a police force? Fires somebody because the citizens are like, Hey, we don't like the skin color of your police officers. That's... that's messed up. Suspicious individual- Oh! Like the driver is nowhere to be seen. Interview any potential eyewitnesses? Wait at a safe distance. What if the driver left the car here? Maybe we should interview people around? Hmm... I feel like that's the safest option, though. Uh, we'll interview. We'll interview. Yeah! Nice work, everybody! Okay, what's this? Suspicious individual. In a playground. Oh! That's not good. That's not good. We'll take, um, uh, we'll take Yancey and Samadhi. Sure. Leaving Kochi to relax a little bit. I don't need her all tired when I actually need her, right? So, letting her rest whenever I can. Oh, that's not a... Kazuki Tamura, Dragon's Lair Club. Mr. Boyd, I'm opening Freeburg's first martial arts club. And for my first exhibition, I want to hold a sparring match where one of my students takes on your toughest cop. After the fight, I'll teach your man a few tricks. Something that will help him out on the streets. He asked for a man. 
I don't want to send Koji though, because look at what happened the last time we sent somebody over there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll send Yancey. I don't really. Oh my god. Yes, I don't really. Money, money. Okay, okay, sure. I'll send Yancey. Oh lord. Okay. Do I have to investigate? Do you want me to investigate? They get it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate fact from fiction if they know how to look at case materials. The more professional the detectives working on an investigation, the better their instincts. To get your suspects, you'll need to figure out the true sequence of events at the crime scene. Sometimes with a little guesswork. Okay. So we start with, hang on, what's going on here? Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside of his home. He was outside? Uh, well this guy, like that? I'm not sure what these two are. Oh. Th there's a car, and it's... <laughs> I'm not really sure how that's working, hmm. They drove by in a sedan, and they shot like a machine gun. Muffled shots. Yeah, these are just the neighbors. So the guy's standing outside his house and a car drives by. And it lands next to the building. It stops next to the building and he shoots and the guy dies. Seems right. Right? Offender caught. Nice work. Is Yancey doing okay? Kevin's throat bar. A couple of dancers started fighting over tips and a cat fight broke out right on stage. Um... I'll give Kochi a try. Kochi... Tsubaki... And... Price. How about that? Hopefully Kochi will be able to hold down the situation here. I kind of feel like right now, I don't want to spend too much resources on Austin. I just want to wait to see the whole thing blow over with the black people first. <laughs> In case, if anything happens, right? I hope she doesn't die, because that would suck. A fight. What? It's the same place. Bartender reported a fight had broken out. Okay, uh, I'll send over oh, two people. Purdy and Samadhi. God, there's a lot of things happening tonight. We good? We good? Looks Yancy? Like we have a here. Hey, Yancy just increased in uh, number by like a hundred. On the stage are two strippers going at it and it's gone beyond arguing to a full on cat fight. The bouncer is fast asleep. Clearly too wasted to handle the situation. The drunk patrons are happily watching the fight. Mm. Shut off the music and turn off the lights. The strippers continue fighting, oblivious of police presence. Okay. Um. Throwing water on the combatants? Stepping on the stage seems bad for the police, because that's a little bit dangerous. Uh, may maybe I'll do that. That seems a bit messed up, though. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. Yancey increased. Yancey, learn how to fight. Chief, I just about nailed the Jap a couple of times. Whoa, you're being a little bit insensitive here. That's not a... <laughs> you don't call Japanese people that. But he was too fast for me and won on points. I don't really understand all their rules, so I can't keep track of points very well. But he was alright. Even showed me a few tricks after the match. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. Think I can take a day off? Sure. Nice job. Hey, good job, good job. Good job, everybody. Hey, I would be so proud. If we could eventually get price up to par with everyone else, that would be so sweet. Okay, Yancy might want to take the next day off. Everyone's still doing whatever. 
Has Price resolved her alcohol problems? Not sure. Not sure at all. But we'll truck on forward. Hang on, so shift A is next. We have Smith here. First day on the job. Are we missing people? Yeah, I feel like we're one short. Hmm. Can we ask someone to come in? Can we ask... Hmm... Someone a little bit more competent. I'll have to ask Purdy to come in. Yup. And these guys... Oh, these guys are just not very competent, so I'm a little bit worried. 